All right, fuck it. I wasn't going to, but I've had some alcohol. I've got myself some nachos. Let's talk about knife collecting culture and my struggle with consumerism lately with my rut. So, something I've been asking myself and struggling with is basically is this $5 beer meaningfully different from a $12 beer per six pack, not per single beer? That's absurd. Um, and no, to me it's not. I get a taste I like, I get some buzz. It's maybe not worth the price difference. Is is this $100 knife, maybe $109 knife, meaningfully different from this $130 knife from the same manufacturer? Pretty much the same blade class, slightly different sizes, same colors, handle materials, slightly different blade materials, but as a, a non-heavy user, it's not functionally different for me. So how do I justify spending more money on this than I did on this? And if I already own this, how did I justify spending money on this? Essentially paying double for the same product. And there's things I like better about this than this, but functionally, they're essentially the same. And, and is this at $130 meaningfully different from this at $80? They're, you know, they're both made in the USA. Um, that's cool. They're both autos. Um, maybe this is a better comparison. Same blade material, I believe. CPM 154. Um, both made in America autos of roughly the same blade class. Um, about three inches. So why is this knife worth $100 and this knife is worth $80? And if I already own it, why did I bother buying this one? I, I'm i struggling with that because I, I've been thinking about it and I'm just, I don't know, overthinking it probably. Oh, God. I've got ZTO 450. Good, made in the USA knife. Got the Spotico Spidey Chef. This one's fifty dollars more. With you could argue less exciting features in the ZTO four fifty, and not made in the USA. <clears throat> and if I own one knife, how do I justify the purchase of of another? They're all functional cutting tools. That I can carry around and be satisfied with. I was looking at, at knives the other day. Something came out that excited me. And I was like, no. I can't justify spending $390 right now on a pocket knife that's not meaningfully different from pocket knives I already own. And if I can't justify spending $390 How can I justify spending $200? If I can't justify that, how do I justify spending $150, $120, $100? How do I justify spending any money when I already have a bunch of knives that are functional, practical cutting tools? And that's basically what I'm struggling with is I like some knives out there, but do I like them enough? I don't know. This was a big purchase for me. It is still my most expensive knife purchase. Over $300. I think it was $350. And I had the disposable income at the time to spend that much money. I don't at the moment. Um, but this knife, as cool as it is, 
this one's half the price and made in America. And sure, there's more features maybe, but they're both titanium frame lock flippers. And uh, this one's never tried to stab my face, but I was opening this left-handed. So that's that's my conundrum, you know. This Prana DNA was a big purchase for me at the time. I saw it online, and I really liked the look and aesthetics of this knife. And I thought, man, like that is the knife for me. I'm gonna buy that, and that's gonna be it. That's gonna be like, whoo, that's a big purchase. I can't. How can I spend $130 on a knife? I couldn't believe it that I was willing to do that. And so what I actually did is I bought this knife first because the anticipation of like hitting that pinnacle of, of knife collecting for me at the time was, I, I wanted to, to test the waters, I guess. I don't know. So I ended up spending, I wanted this knife. This knife was an incidental purchase that I was like, well, I saw some reviews on it and I liked it and I was like, well, I'll, I'll try that too. So I ended up spending $240 over a period of a month or so on two knives when really my initial craving, lusting, hunger, whatever was just for this one. And I like both these knives, don't get me wrong. But I feel like I fell into a trap of Oh, you, you gotta get them all. You, oh, there's a slightly different model that does the same thing, has almost the same materials, um, but it looks a little different, or maybe does something a little different, or is maybe made a little different. Uh, I gotta go buy that now. Um, gotta collect them all. And that, that mentality bugs me a little bit, you know? I'm just buying for the sake of buying, and I don't want to buy for the sake of buying, I want to buy it because it's meaningful to me and I like it, you know? This was another meaningful purchase for me and I, and I really like it. But let's, I've, I've had some history with this knife. I should get into that one day. Um, pain in the ass history. But sometimes I just don't, don't end up carrying really. Like this one is a decent knife but it doesn't stand out enough for me to to carry it and then I think how much how many hours did I did I spend working to pay for this cat's feeder went off how many hours did I spend working to pay for this I I do like this knife I don't regret purchasing it but I do wonder if it was really worth it. And and I and I talked to my wife about this. We 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 have conversations about this because it's something that I'm struggling with and, and she's like, Well, you know, it is a hobby and it's something you like and that's that's meaningful and that she's right. But I'm still stuck. You know? I have something I want. And the only reason I'm justifying buying my next knife purchase it's because I'm turning a, a new age. I'm turning 25, and I'm like, well, I'd like to have something to remind myself of what I, of what I, what I did for myself when I was 25, right? Something meaningful, something special to me for the big two five, big quarter century or whatever. Um, but it, it's tainted because I'm worried about like. Is it the right thing to do? Can I afford this? And yeah, I probably can if I'm careful. And but it, am I just am I just getting something new to get something new, or am I getting something because it's meaningful or or especially significantly different? Or I don't know. That's part of my rut. That's rut part two: consumerism and knife collecting. Um, And I, and I know I'll be back into the groove of things um, before too long, you know. But at the at the moment, I'm just trying to figure out where knife 
collecting fits in my life, you know? Knife on, folks.